we are doing number two in our little videos on leather that was produced locally right at Greensburg, Pennsylvania. We're looking up Otterman Street, looking west. This is down around where uh, St. Clair goes up to the uh, park. This is Maple Avenue up here at the top of the hill. You would find Main Street. And right here, this in building indicated by number three, this was the Court Brothers Tannery. They had a tan yard here where they slaughtered animals. And they uh, had everything they needed to have a tannery. There was a spring right up here in the park, a public spring. The water came down. Tanneries needed a lot of water. And they had the hides from the animals they slaughtered. And the third thing they needed, they would have to buy, which was bark from hemlock trees or oak trees. And that would be ground up and then dissolved in water, put in the vats. And in those vats, the hide, hides would be put in. It was a bit more complicated than that, but that'll do for a short and quick explanation. This shows us that same territory as it is today. We're looking up Ottoman Street. This building right here is where the tannery was, and they had their tan yard going up this way. This shows Joseph and Simon Court uh, when they're going out of business as a slaughterhouse and starting up their business on Ottoman Street as a uh, slaughtering and tanning business. This was 1833. They stayed in business up there until 1851, at least Simon Court did, when the uh, tannery was sold to Daniel Reamer. This just gives you a closer look. This was, this was where the old tannery was. You'd never think that that was once upon a time where they uh, converted animal skins into leather. And right up the street here were guys who used that leather. They were people who made harnesses and saddles. Mapping here from 1854, which is in very bad condition. But it can show you, this shows you where the tannery was and what buildings were there then. This is Maple Avenue, and this is Ottoman Street. This is in 1854 when Daniel Reamer ran the tannery, and he lived right across the street in this brick house. A little bit clearer mapping that I put together. This is the tannery here on Otterman Street. This was early called Church Street. It's now called Maple Avenue. And there was in one of the town's early newspapers right here. And this was the Rue family, Adam Rue, having a carriage factory. They also made uh, leather items for sale, like a harness and trunks. This is just a bit of a recap showing you records I found in the courthouse, uh, tax records showing you who were the tanners in Greensburg or in the early time. John Coons was the first, 1789, very early. He was one of the early settlers of the town. And then we start to look at tanners in the township. It's harder to find them. There, there were a lot of them. From 1802 to 1845, there were no less than uh, 30 tanners in the township. But it's hard to give exact locations for them. And looking around these names, you might even find some of your ancestors. This is the old township, 1792. And it gives the impression that it was rather sparsely populated. But as time went on, the uh, settlement continued and it got more densely populated. Now this is one of the first and easiest to find tan yards in the township owned by the Jack family. Old Judge Jack, one of the founders of the town, also had a tan yard. This mentions the tan yard in this ad in 1839 when Matthew Jack, the son of old Judge Jack, was putting it up for rent. These are the holdings of the Jack family. 
This is Main Street. This is the Pennsylvania Railroad. The Jacks lived right here. And my guess, and I only put it as a guess because I don't know exactly where the, their tannery was, I would guess it was right here because it's close to their house. And they also had a, a, a mill, a grist and sawmill right here. And right up here, they had a brickyard. This shows us another view of Hempfield Township when it was more densely populated. This is the road that comes out of Greensburg and we now know as Route 136. And along this road, there was once a tannery. In this area, we had a uh, a guy named Schatz, John Schatz. He had his tannery on this road, now known as 136, right here, John Schatz Tannery. And right here is the Bolzer Meyer Pike, and here's the Bolzer Meyer Historical Society, so that locates it fairly well. And there aren't a whole lot of other tanneries in the township that I can locate. As I said, well, there were a bunch of them, but I, it's hard to find them. Now this only tells us that we've gone far enough. Uh, this shows some pictures from what we'll see next time in the third of these things on leather. This is the excavation of a tannery in Pittsburgh that went out of business more than 100 years ago. And in the year 2000, I was in on uh, the excavation of this tannery. And in number three on these things of leather locally, we shall see something about uh, that excavation. <laughs>